Okay, I gotta make this video in kind of a hurry, okay. This is real important for New Year's resolution. Resolve to be in God's system. Now, I'm going to explain what that is, and there's a web page already written on it from years ago that's in the video description. Look at it and do it. I'm dead serious about this. Okay? If you hear noise in the background, that's my dryer. Now, I'm going to spell this out. It's not hard. If you're not in God's system, you're going to get punished, and everybody around you is going to get cursed. This is not a joke. We all should be telling each other to be in God's system, okay? This is not teaching. This is like you want to get spanked? Don't do what I'm about to say in any one part of it. I harp on it all the time, just like my pastor used to. Okay, here we go. To be in God's system, you first got to be in God. Duh. So believe Jesus Christ paid for your sins and you're forever saved. That's a one-shot thing. Okay? That's the first part. I'm presuming you already did that. Doesn't mean you have to understand it. Just do it. Believe he paid for your sins. Period. And you're forever saved. Okay? Can't get out. But, you can't get in a lot of trouble after you're saved. And you can cause a lot of trouble to everybody in your country. So here's how you don't do that. One. Use 1 John 1, 9 every time you think you might have sinned. Does it mean that you necessarily remember what kind of sin it is? No, because a lot of times in the Old Testament you see people admitting they sin, but they're not specific about what kind. Admit you sin. Dad, I sin. I must say that a thousand times a day. I don't necessarily remember what kind. I'm just sure I did it because I forgot. The last time I used 1 John 1 9 might have been an hour ago or 20 minutes ago. Dad, I sinned. That's it. If you know what kind it is, it's real helpful to name it, specifically name it, okay? So that that way you're training your brain. Ooh, I don't want to do this again. Your brain will screw up and you'll do it again. But it's training to remember. Oh, and it'll start to slow you down with whatever your habitual sins are. Just name it. You don't, it doesn't matter if you feel sorry for it. You probably will, but that doesn't count. Name it. That does count. 1 John 1, 9. If we name, confess means to name. It really means to cite a court case, which John had already done in 1 John 1, 7, which was the cross. Dad, I sinned. Christ paid for that sin. You don't have to say that part. You know that. Name it. Dad, I sinned. That's it. You aren't doing that, honey. You ain't in the system. I don't care what you think of anything. And you will become extremely incompetent if you don't use 1 John 1 9. It shows up in the comments, honey. The brain just completely starts to disintegrate. That's why I call myself brain out. It's to remind me to use 1 John 1 9. Okay? So be a good brain out. Use 1 John 1 9. Okay? Brain out means believer. Okay. Two. This is really important. Find your right male teacher. Male, not female. Talking about Bible is not teaching. Do not use my videos as if they were teaching. You're supposed to practice what you learned under a teacher when you watch the videos. That's why I do them the way I do. They are accountings. They are auditings. I expect you to be under a teacher when you watch them because I am documenting or citing or proving or auditing something in the Bible. If you're not under a teacher, honey, you are in deep doo-doo with God. And I mean it seriously. I've seen God slowly kill people who refuse to be under a pastor. People in my own family. Okay, I've seen God kill people in my own family because they refused one John 1, 9. Not necessarily kill, but slowly kill. They're not dead yet. They go insane first. Then they lose one body part at a time. Do you want to be in that that you know situation? No, I bet you don't. So use one John one nine. Number two, same issue. Get under a male 
teacher ask God who it is within 30 days you will know and if you refuse that teacher you will be spanked big time number three learn and live on Bible under that teacher whoever it was God sent you to I'm dead serious whatever that teacher is teaching that day that's what you need to learn that day and if your teacher is online well then ask God which lessons you should start studying first but you get under one and you stay under that teacher until God moves you out no supermarket shopping no using this pastor and that pastor online that's for practice as a result of being under a teacher YouTube videos and TBN and all that stuff is adjunctive so you can practice what you learned under your teacher you got me loud and clear four talk to God all the time or whenever you think of it if you're not having a conversation with God it means your social life with God is bad it means you're not using 1 John 1 9 and you don't feel good talking to him okay talk to him about anything I get mad at God even look at the people in the Bible Abraham got mad at God because he had a two-way constant two-way conversation same thing with Moses Numbers 14, Moses is arguing with God. Genesis 12, 15, and 17, Abraham's arguing with God. Gideon argued with God. Arguing is fine. That's a conversation. Okay? Have a conversation with God during the day. Just talk. Hi, God. I don't understand. I learned Samson from Lila today. I didn't understand it. Okay. Then use one job one nine, and he'll tell you why you learned it that day. Okay, <laughs> he's God. He's personal. He bought you. He's in you. It's intimate. Have a conversation. Okay. Try not to talk out loud when you're around other people, because they won't understand. Then number five, which is optional talk with other believers the purpose of talking to other believers is to test what you learned under your teacher and to see what they learned under their teacher so you can cross pollinate because you know what your teacher can't be around you 24 7 it's just like grammar school or college you go to class you learn under the teacher then outside of class you talked about the class or about whatever else the teacher taught so you can practice what you're learning. Duh. Now that's optional because sometimes, and actually most of the time, talking to other believers is ooh, not too good. Paul warns about it in 2 Timothy 2. He just threw that in my arm. 2 Timothy 2, 26 through 3, 7. So there are some believers you should avoid. Like I have to, have to, whether I want to or not, I have to avoid all King James only people. They are satanic to the core. They are the worst denomination in Christendom. They are out to destroy the Bible that God preserved. And I'm not allowed to talk to them. As soon as I find out somebody's KJV, I cut them off from communication. I pray for them all the time, and I care about them a great deal because I really like those people. But i got to cut them off. And there are certain other people I have to cut off at times, too, like the health fad people. Oh, you know, you can heal yourself with these natural foods. Cut them off. Or the tongues people. Cut them off. No, any Semites, definitely cut them off. Now, maybe God's prescription as to who you should cut off is different. I'm just speaking for myself on that. That's a policy decision between God and you, what you're supposed to do. It is also a policy decision between God and you. What teacher and what denomination? Because this five things of God's system, it doesn't matter what the denomination is. It doesn't matter if the teacher is right on all doctrines. It matters you be in the system. So let's review it again. One, believe in Christ or you're not in God so you can't be in his system. Number two, of course, if you've already believed in Christ, it becomes your new number one, which is use 1 John 1 9, unless you want God to slowly rip you apart. Number two, now that you believe in Christ, find your male only teacher, one at a time, until God moves you to someone else. Does not matter what denomination he's in, does not matter how right or wrong he is. It's the system. God works within a system. Okay? Number four, 
um, what, three, really? Yeah, yeah, three, three, three. Learn and live on Bible that your teacher is teaching each day that day. Got it? Use it. Learn it. Live on it the rest of the day. That's what it's there for. It's like food. You eat every day. Bible food just as well. Okay? Number four, talk to God as often as you think about it, preferably all the time. I think that's in 1 Thessalonians 5. That's what he was talking to me. Pray unceasing. Prayer is not just asking God for things. It's conversation. I tell you, honey, I'm talking to God all the time. Whether I'm happy, mad, whatever. I'm just talking to him. Okay? And, and, and that's real important. Your spiritual life will grow when you do that. Okay? So that's number four. Talk to God all the time. Number five, optional, optional. Talk to Christians. And ask God who you should talk to, when you should talk to, why you should talk to, who should you listen to, why you should listen to, who you should play with, because you're playing with them. With what you learned in Bible class. Under who? Number two, your teacher. Otherwise, how are you going to learn? It's just like grammar school. You get out of grammar school, and then you learn something that day, and you talk about it with the other students, or maybe students from another school. You can't learn what you learned in class if you don't use it. That's how you use it. Number five with other believers. Or use number four and talk to God about it. Four, 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 four. Okay? Four. Talk to God about it. Are we clear now? One more time. Be a believer. That gets you into God's system. I mean, get you into God. Getting into God's system, use 1 John 1, 9. And when you don't use it, you're out of the system, no matter what else you're doing. Number two, find your right pastor, male only, one at a time, not supermarket shopping, and stay under him. Number three, learn and live on the Bible that ta that pastor teaches every day. Number four, talk to God every day. Just, hi, God, how are you doing? Here's what I learned in Bible class. I don't understand it, whatever. Number five, optional. Talk to other believers. Talk Bible to other believers. That's what these videos are. I'm talking to you. Whether you listen or not is beside the point. I'm learning something when I do it. And hopefully you will too. I know God uses a video, so I'm doing them. Okay? So those are the five things, honey. And six, of course, is what got you in the system in the first place. Believing in Christ. Got you in the God so you can be in God's system. You got that? One more time. Believe in Christ, that gets you in God. Number one, use 1 John 1, 9. Number two, find your right male pastor. Number three, learn and live on Bible under that pastor. Number four, talk to God all the time. Number five, optionally, talk with believers ad hoc, depending on what God wants you to do. That's it. Do it for New Year's if you want to be blessed. And honey, I need you to be blessed because if you're not doing this, I'm cursed. The whole nation is cursed if you're not doing it. That's why those damn hurricanes happen. Come on. Get in the system. Make that your New Year's resolution for 2013. Okay? Bye.